m squared equals m plus 1, n squared equals n plus 1. What's the value of m to the power 5 plus n to the power 5? How to solve this problem? Hmm, maybe you're going to say, I have an idea. Look, two equations about m and n. Firstly, solve the values of m and n, then substitute into this term. Of course, that's an idea. However, not a good idea. Why? Because to the power of 5, how can you deal with this? This 5 on the exponent is too large, too large, too large. Nobody is able to cope with this. So what shall we do? Of course, we have m squared equals m plus 1, and here m to the power of 5. So now, how can I use m squared equals m plus 1 to express m to the power of 5? Look, m to the power of 5, it can be written as m then times m to the power of 4. And m to the power of 4 can be written as m squared then squared. So now the first step is like this. Then we know that m squared equals m plus 1. So it is just m times m plus 1 then all squared. Very good. The third step, what shall we do? It is in the bracket, bottom of formula, m squared plus 2m plus 1. Now, m squared appears again. We hate that. So, substitute m plus 1 for m squared. So, m plus 1, then plus 2m plus 1. So, it is 3m plus 2. Then, this is 3m squared plus 2m. And this m squared, m plus 1. So it is just 3 times m plus 1 and then plus 2m. At last, it is 3m plus 2m, 5m, then plus 3. Now, m to the power of 5 equals 5m plus 3. And n to the power of 5 the same way. It is 5n plus 3. So now what shall we do? We should add these two together. 5n plus 3 plus 5n plus 3. m to the power of 5 plus n to the power of 5 is equal to 5m plus 3 plus 5n plus 3. And this guy is 5 times m plus n with bracket, n plus 3 plus 3 is 6. So now very good. Then, you see, here appears m plus n. So, how should I solve it? Have a look at our original equations. m squared is m plus 1, n squared, n plus 1. So now, if we subtract m, then subtract 1 on both sides, we get this equation. For the first equation, is this. For the second equation as well, it is about n. n squared minus n minus 1 equals 0. So now we can see that these two equations have the same form. Now, what do I mean? If they have the same form, I can say m and n are the two roots of the equation x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. So m and n are the roots of this equation. However, m and n can be equal. They can also be different. There are two cases. The first case is if m is equal to n. And when m equals n, we know that the roots to this equation are 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. So in this case, m equals n, both equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. In this case, just substitute it here. So, m to the power 5 plus n to the power 5 is equal to 5 times the sum of this. It's just 5 times this one times 2. 
1 plus or minus square root of 5, then plus 6. And you can see that the result is very pretty. It is 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 plus or minus 5 times square root of 5. So now, so we have acquired two answers to the question. Now the second case. The second case is, of course, if m is not equal to n, then m plus n is, of course, what is m plus n? 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, then plus 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now you can see plus square root of 5 minus square root of 5. They can cancel out each other, then 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2. m plus n is just 1. In the end, m to the power 5 plus n to the power 5 is 5 times 1, then plus 6. So the answer is 11. Three answers to the question. 11, 11 plus 5 root 5, 11 minus 5 root 5. Did you get them? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more wonderful questions. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.